This is a Thunder Game Report. Hi, I'm Randy Renner at Chesapeake Energy Arena, where the Thunder stepped up to the challenge and beat the Portland Trailblazers tonight, 105 to 97. Another huge night from Kevin Durant, who has now scored more than 30 points in eight straight games. That's the longest such stretch in his career. Tonight he had 46 points on 17 of 25 shooting. He was six out of seven from three-point land. Also a big night from Kendrick Perkins tonight on defense and on offense. Perk had a big shot toward the end of the game that gave the Thunder some momentum. It was a huge win for Oklahoma City. And after the game, we talked to head coach Scott Brooks, Kevin Durant, and Big Perk. How'd you guys like that play I drew up for Perk? <laughs> Gutsy. I've been called worse. Um, I, thought, I thought Perk was really good tonight. Obviously, he made the, 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 sh the shot on the baseline, but defensively, he's guarding one of the best shot makers in the game that has good size, has good range. Uh, I thought he did a good job of staying with it. You know, in the first half, he was making shots that you didn't think he's ever going to uh, miss. Uh, they didn't touch the rim. They were going in, but I thought in the fourth quarter, he held them um, to making, taking some tough shots um, and then missing them. But I thought he was really good, big part of our win. Defensively in the second half, I thought Tabo was really good. Uh, did a great job on, on and Lillard, and he's one of the up-and-coming uh, aggressive point guards that are hard to contain. But everybody chipped in defensively. It was, a, it was a, a game that we just fought. You know, We had a, a couple of opportunities to put our head down, and this, as you all know, and this is why we love this team, is they don't do that. You know, they had everything going for them. They had a double-digit lead a couple of times, but we fought back. Uh, Fish made some timely shots, too, that we needed it when we weren't making any shots. And then, obviously, it's be pretty hard and not very smart of me, not to mention KD. Uh, just what are you going to say? He, the guy just he brings everything he has to the floor every night. going a little bit is that seems this got his uh, blood going a little bit more in those last few minutes well it was a it was a physical basketball game and and, and neither team were getting on getting to the free throw line or getting um, fouls called um, but it was a physical basketball game I like the way both teams uh, stood up and took the challenge and, and Kevin Kevin is an aggressive player um, he demands so much attention and he, he's, he's he's hard to guard and our bigs do a great job of freeing him up for open looks and space that he can uh, create and manipulate the screen and roll. But I thought, um, I think I got our crowd fired up. Um, definitely I got our guys um, more so locked in defensively. Katie may have been on, but you got the shot you wanted with, uh, I guess, Perk on the baseline from 15 feet, didn't you? Yeah, I mean, he, he, he stepped up and made it. You know, I, uh, one thing about Perk, he, he plays – he plays for the team, and he's uh, I'm not the smartest guy in the world, but I'm pretty good with chemistry, and that's what he brings. Um, he brings chemistry to our team. He brings toughness, and he brings a, a fiber that it's all about the team. And, you know, I'm glad that he st stepped up and made that shot, but he rebounded the ball tonight, and he did a great job of making a, one of the best bigs, shot makers in the league get uh, missed shots. Nick Allen, Thunder.me.com. Coach, a lot of game pressure in those possessions late on defense. What stood out to you about the way you guys kind of locked down on that end of the floor? Besides Perk, we challenged each other, uh, each other every possession. It was a, it was a playoff atmosphere type of game. One of the best teams in the West, in front of a, a great crowd, and and I thought both teams challenged each other. We we had to really execute our plays and our sets and and. And obviously, both teams have guys that step up and make threes. I'm glad we stepped up and made threes tonight. Not just KD six, but you know, Fish had two, Tabo had one, Reggie had one. Ten threes for us is a, that's a great night. Scott Brent Weber, KOSU. You know, we talk a lot about the scoring numbers, things like that. I just just recognize that your guards committed one turnover in the entire game. Things like that in a playoff atmosphere, pretty important. Yeah, uh, seven turnovers. Um, you know, that's usually sometimes a quarter for us. 
and but I, th I thought our guys were great with the ball. Uh, Kevin, I don't know, he's turned the ball over four times. We talked about trying to get it into twos, and he turns it over four times. Um, not a good night for him. <laughs> Turnovers were, were good tonight. You know, they're low. Um, we gave ourselves a chance to, to score every time down. That's what you want. Barry Trammell with the Oklahoma. And it looked like you didn't have Tabo on Lillard much in the first half. Went with him pretty much any time he was in in the second half. Was that something you planned to do all game? Was that a pregame strategy or yeah, we, what was we going We have on? that. I mean, we have that in our pocket. Uh, Tabo, Tabo can guard multiple players in this league. Uh, yeah, I thought he did a great job of um, preventing them from getting looks. Um, I think he was one for five in the second half opposed to being six for ten in the first half. But I thought I thought our defense, team defense overall was good. And when when the team defense is good, it always starts with the individual pride on the defensive end. And I thought that, that was um, there from all five guys that was on the court tonight. Josh Goldman, WWS Sports Animal. Coach, uh, tomorrow night the game is for first place in the Western Conference. Um, what do you tell your team to get ready for that game? And just how difficult is it playing back-to-back -back games against teams like Portland and San Antonio? Well, that's um, that's NBA basketball. You got You have to step up to the... Um, step on the floor every night and do your best. And we've we've have a we have a philosophy as a team. We have um, 82 big nights a year, um, and I expect our guys to come with the energy and uh, inspire one another to play a good basketball uh, game against one of the best teams on their floor. I know it's a very tough challenge ahead, uh, but as we all know, this team loves challenges, and we definitely have one tomorrow night. Dean Blevins, News Nine. Scott, do you ever get caught up in watching Kevin? I know you're involved in strategy, but do you ever just watch him in a game like this and just think about how special special it is and sort of how privileged everyone is to be able to see it? There's no question. We're, we, we are seeing a, an amazing player develop in front of our eyes. That's one of the big reasons why I started wearing my glasses during the game so I can see that. You know, I, I didn't miss the 54-point night. I didn't miss tonight. Uh, just he's a he's a he's a, there's not much I can say about him that I haven't said he's uh, he's an amazing young man that takes a lot of pride in what he does and 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 how he plays and how he represents our city uh, he's just a prideful person that he was raised the right way and he cares about doing the right things and and smart player uh, a great player great teammate there's not a lot of other adjectives you can use that hasn't been used before, but I love the guy, and I'm proud of the way he is. Um, he represents us, and he does it every night, and that's not easy to do is to do it every night, and regardless of how he plays, he steps up and, and challenges himself to always do well the uh, next he, night. Hey, Scott, the, uh, the um, three blocks, you had three blocks in four seconds there when you were protecting that lead in the last two minutes or whenever it was. Uh, what goes through your mind when you see you guys playing like that and uh, uh, do, uh, defending the rim the way they did? Well, I, I know Serge. I mean, we haven't even mentioned Serge tonight. I thought Serge was really doing a great job of protecting and altering shots. He had five blocks, and he probably altered ten other shots, and then he probably uh, prevented five or six others that weren't even going to challenge him. But we're, we held the, the best-scoring basketball team, you know, basically 13 points under their average. Uh, when they were making a lot of shots in the first half. So give our guys credit. Um, they did a great job of defending. Uh, in that fourth quarter, they were 7 for 21. Aldridge was 1 for 8. But it, but it was always about our team defense throughout the game. We were just going to keep uh, chipping away, and hopefully um, we would start making some shots, and I think we did. Kevin, uh pretty special fourth quarter, particularly on the defensive end. What stood out to you guys about the way you defended late? Um, we just, you know, I think we stayed, they didn't do anything different in the fourth. I think, uh, you know, Perk and Serge did a great job early on in contesting the Marcus. I would just uh, jump shot, but, you know, he was he's a great player and he was knocking them down. So on the fourth, you know, of course, you know, after them playing last night, they get a little, get a little tired and, we forced him out almost to the three-point line and made him shoot some tough ones, and we was able to rebound and hit shots from the other end. I think Reggie in that pick and roll late in the game opened everything up for us, got himself a layup. Perkins 
little jump shot, and you know, to open it up for myself to you know make a few shots as well. So, total team effort tonight. We stuck with it, and uh, we didn't get discouraged after they hit tough shots and we missed shots, and got a good win. Kevin, on uh, one of those last threes, you you just turned around, and kind of smiled. I mean, do you have the the sense right now that? You're doing something pretty special in this last couple of weeks stretch, if not all season long. No, I mean, I'm just having fun out there. Um, I'm blessed to play this game, man. So every moment I'm on the court is fun for me, no matter how the game's going. And, uh, you know, I was just, you know, when you <clears throat> you play this game and you and you look to the bench and see your teammates so happy for you, all I could do was smile because I know they're genuinely happy for me and uh, for the team. So, you know, it's a great feeling just knowing you have a – group of brothers out there supporting you no matter what. So, you know, that's what I'm smiling for. Tell me what went through your mind when you hit the scores table and got the technical. And do you feel like that gave your team some energy? It was really a stupid, stupid, you know, um, reaction by me. You know, I could have hurt my team really badly. Um, but luckily, Lillard missed the free throw. And uh, that gave us a little bit of momentum, I guess. And I was just more frustrated with myself, you know, turning the ball over. And, you know, I can't, I can't, uh, Hurt my team like that, so you know this time it went in our, our direction. But next time I got to be more smarter. On those last couple possessions, more so than normal, when you were pulling up from the top, did you feel like just give me the ball? I want to shoot it. I mean, it was... yeah. I mean, I, I told my, I told the team, you know, after Perk hit that shot, we got to stop. I think. Uh, you know, I just I just told him I, I seen something at the top of the key. You know, uh, Batum's such a long defender, man. He, but he was he was giving me some space and. You know, I just needed a little bit of space to get my shot off. And, uh, you know, I felt good from the three-point line all game. And I was able to uh, was able to knock those two uh, threes down for us. So, you know, uh, but Reggie Reggie opened it up for us, you know, by his play aggressiveness in the fourth. And he just stuck with it. I'm proud of his maturity uh, throughout the whole game. Okay, I've been looking ahead tomorrow it's for first place in the Western Conference against the Spurs. How difficult is it to play back-to-back against two really good teams? It's not difficult at all. I mean, we, you know, we know what we have to do. We know how tough it is to win in there. Um, you know how tough that team is. So we just got to come prepared, you know, a lot of energy, a lot of energy. So, you know, I think uh, our group is ready to just go out there and play our game, and, you know, we'll see what happens. Where do you feel like your team is? You had those two tough games right after Russ went down. Mm-hmm. But you guys have stormed back here with, what is this, four in a row or something like that over some really good teams? I don't, I don't know. I mean, we won in a row, but I just I just like, uh, you know, our approach to the game. When we're just playing hard. Uh, we're moving to basketball. We missed some shots, you know, but that happens. But I think we just we just playing for each other, you know. So we have to do, we have to stick together no matter what. And defensively, I think we're, uh, we're doing a good job of using our length. Teams have been hitting threes and, and tough shots on us, but we haven't. Um, we haven't gotten down on ourselves. We haven't felt sorry for ourselves. We just kept playing, and tonight's another case. Kevin, it's hard to ignore your scoring tearing you're on right now. What would you point to? If I ask you about your rhythm, the rhythm that you're finding in these games, what would you point to? Uh, the screen's been set for me. And, you know, passes on time, on target. And, um, you know, Perk is giving his body up for me. Serge is giving his body up. Nick and Steve and the bigs are doing a great job of giving me open. And uh, like I always say, it's on me to finish. So I got to put in the work before I have to practice, uh, shoot arounds in order for me to make those shots. And, you know, my teammates do a great job of setting me up. It's far more than just me. Um, uh, I just, you know, it's, it's a small part, actually. What I do is, is more so plays, coach call, and, uh, you know, the screen's being set and the, and the pass is being passed. So it's, you know, I think the end result is just on me, just, you know, trusting in the work and believing in myself to knock those shots down. How nice is it to Last see Perk, a guy that, like you said, set screens, plays defense, they hit a big jumper like that? Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of you guys don't know the small things he does for us, his intelligence on both ends of the floor. And it's just, um, you know, to hit a huge shot like that, especially a jump shot, a lot of people I heard screaming no when he shot it, <laughs> you know. Um, <laughs> in the stands and he just has so much confidence in himself and we have confidence in him and that was a huge shot you know he played hard defense all game and to see him get rewarded with that was uh pretty refreshing so you know I'm riding with Perk you know to the wheels fall off and uh, glad he hit that shot thanks Kevin here's Perk Perk the, the two basically game-winning defensive plays you made the block and the steal both came on out of bounds possessions was that just playing off instinct there or something you guys had scouted we just said we was going to switch everything, and they ran a 
a back pick for Aldridge. I mean, yeah, a back pick for Aldridge, then another real screen for Lillard. I actually switched it late, so I just had to do something. If he just went straight up, he probably would have had a layup, but he put it in front of my face. And then on the steal, I just seen the flare coming. I knew it was coming from out of bounds, so I was right there. I, ain't, I thought he wasn't going to throw it, but he threw it anyway, but, you know. Seemed like you guys just stuck with the program on Aldridge and rewarded you guys late in that in that fourth quarter when he missed. Yeah, I talked. I had talked to Coach uh, M. B. Mark Bryan after uh, the third quarter, and he asked me, "Was I go start fronting him?" And I was like, "No." I told him, I said, "He just go have to, you know, bust my head to the white meat on these fadeaway college threes if that's what it is. I'm not fronting him, so if he make them, he make them. But that's what we go have to do." seeing out of Kevin right now, where he's going to go? I don't know, man. That's kind of – I ain't played with some pretty good players, man, but what he's doing right now is on a whole nother level. Like, his confidence, them threes he hitting, like, I don't know. Like, he just in the zone. That's all I could say. He in the zone, and I'm just happy for him. Speaking of confidence, you showed a lot when you hit that jumper from about 15 feet on the left wing. Yeah, I – I was going to shoot it regardless. Um, I knew Reggie, when he drove the first time and got the floater, I seen the, the big helped off and he floated. He looked at me, said he go pass it to me. So I was like, if you pass it to me, it's going up. So I just shot it. I mean, I work on that shot, you know, every day of practice. So, you know. Bird looking ahead tomorrow, second of a back-to-back for first place in the Western Conference. Um, how big of a game is it and how difficult is it to play these back-to-backs against really good teams? It's, it's hard, but, you know, that's why we have a, a deep – a deep team. Uh, you know, the night our reserves came in, our bench played some great minutes. Uh, tomorrow is just a team win. Um, I say like a, a game tomorrow, you just, you know, stay in the game as long as you can until the fourth quarter and you always just got to give yourself a chance to win. Just give yourself a chance to win, you'll be in good shape. So try not to fall behind or try to go into the fourth quarter at least up by six or four. Give yourself a chance to win, you'll be all right. You were in one of those situations tonight in crunch time, a lot of game pressure. What did you like the most about the way you guys played as a team and executed? We didn't give up. <clears throat> the time we went down five, uh, we had to get a stop. We did it. I just felt like uh, we were growing. Um, you could tell on the defensive end because, I mean, they hit some shots. Portland is a good team, uh, and they make shots. And at the end of the day, I thought we started making them miss. And... Uh, you know, Scotty, I thought he he uh, he really challenged as far as our physicality because he told us that at halftime, the foul count was like four to one. We only had four fouls, so obviously we weren't playing physical. We was letting them run freely, so I thought we did a great job with it, coming out playing physical. Um, and Tybo did a, a great job on Lillard, I thought. Uh, he's been doing a great job lately, of late. Um, Defending, so we just need that out of everybody. And, and Nick and Steven was great off the bench, too, by the way. Hey, Last question to Perk. Like this are real physical and not a lot of whistles. Are these the kind of games you prefer to play? Or? Yep. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's what we all want, all our bigs. Uh, I know Steven and myself, we, we pray for games like that with no whistles, and you could just <laughs> do whatever you want and grab a cup of cow muscles. But I'm just joking, but you know. It, we like it, though. Yeah, there was a little grabbing and pushing and shoving going on there at various times during the game. But uh, what a thriller here at Chesapeake Energy Arena. The crowd roaring toward the end. It was a heck of an atmosphere, a playoff-type atmosphere. And who knows, these two teams, of course, will meet in Portland later on. And then as we get toward the spring, they may very well meet again in the playoffs, perhaps for the... Western Conference Championship. So an exciting win tonight. Thunder take it 105-97. They're on a plane headed for San Antonio where they will take on the Spurs Wednesday night. We'll update you, so keep clicking back at thundergamereport.com. <laughs>